Mary D. Morris has a book, Young Lions, and she's doing a lot of work in the Maywood Mineral book with Sister Barbara Cole, uh, who is uh, working with everybody, uh, kids uh, that's been lost, uh, people that uh, other people refuse, and people that she care about and doing the things. I want Sister Barbara Cole to stand up. Sister Barbara Cole. Hotep, brothers and sisters, Hotep is, it means peace, and it is a word that is used in ancient Africa. I, my name is Hotep. I am the first medical doctor and invented the stethoscope. And the stethoscope is still around today. I worked on many science and medical projects. I served during the Third Dynasty, 2649, before the Common Era. 30 black dynasties ruled ancient Egypt. In addition, I served Pharaoh Zosner during the Old Kingdom Pyramid Age. I was in charge of building the first step pyramid, which is still around today. The step pyramid is 4,660 years old. Go and visit your ancient ancestors' work in Saqqara, Egypt. Many people call Imhotep a multi-genius. I will never say that about myself. Once again, my name is M. Hotep, the first medical doctor. And Aset. Hotep, brothers and sisters. My name is Aset. I was born in ancient Kemet, which is now known today as Egypt. During my time, I enjoyed great popularity as a goddess. My husband's name is King Asar. He is an awesome pharaoh. We have one son. His name is Haru. The Greeks has worshiped me as Isis. My statues are in many temples in Kemet and Greece. Once again, my name is Aset. 
You can call me Queen of Set or Goddess of Set. Thank you. My name is Thumb of the Third. I served as Pharaoh during the golden age of the 18th dynasty, 1580 to 1557 before the Common Era. We attended school in temples and pyramids of Egypt. We studied their hieroglyphics written on the walls of the temples. Our ancestors invented writing. It had a 24 letter alphabet known as the meta nature, the writing of God. Reading and writing were important to ancient Africans. We wrote our histories on the walls of the temples and pyramids. It is hard to steal our story because we wrote it in concrete. The name of our country has changed from Kemet to Egypt. The name Egypt is still around today. The Greeks studied in Kemet for 300 years and the Romans lived in Kemet for 600 years. My father, Thumos the first expanded the rulership from the upper Nile to the upper Euphrates, Persia, and Iraq. I expanded the kingdom further. I am Thumos the third. I want to thank you for going inside the book, Young Lions Challenge to Live Free. And with all of your children and grandchildren and nieces and nephews, let them know that they have a great culture. They have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. It is so incredible that there's so much that they don't know and we have to get it to them. We have to, we remember culture, transmitting that body of knowledge from generation to generation, and we have to do that. That's our job. Thank you.